Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and Happy New Year to everyone. Mm -hmm. Welcome to 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an exclusive world debut today of an Atari 2600 world game. World debut, cool. World debut. Cool. First ones <clears throat> to see it. Uh, it is Escape from the Castle for the Atari 2600. Uh, by Eduardo Villarino. 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 Yeah, we'll go with that. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Thank you, Dan, for mm. subscribing. Nineteen months. Excellent. Awesome. Also, Splendid Nut, twenty twenty part three. Yes, I like that. It's the sequel. <laughs> the just sequel. keeps going. Well, hopefully it's just um, a trilogy at this point. Yeah. Not more than that. Yeah. So, yeah. Things go in a trilogy <laughs> and this is the end. This wrap is the up. end. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're also going to be playing Pin Finger, a new game by Kev Kelly. And following up with Immunity that we played oh, yes. early last with, year. Yeah. Uh, made by Mike Losh. Yes. Or Soul, who may or may not be here. He's usually here. Sometimes. Uh, uh, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who continue to support the show. Mm -hmm. That include, down the left, uh, down the right, I guess, uh, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Ka Charles and Chuck, Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Chris Albright, Coffee Cup Arcade, Dianoid Drexel, Great Offender Ground Trooper, Azure Rapper, Ivory Dower Collections, Johnny WC One Eroda, Carl G. Crocco, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Make Muse, Mike Solm, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Zarner, Whoop, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Straub, Packer, VG Cog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pam, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, and Welshman, Thrust, Tiki Dan K, TM Events, Token Muncher, Vitoko 8 Bits, and Yorgi's Castle. Getting yeah. harder each time. I feel like people's uh, names are getting longer somehow. They are, and that's why I had to uh, <laughs> left justify the list because it was cutting off the beginnings of people's oh, names. Oh, so. I see, I see, I see. I couldn't figure out a way to make it. I don't know what I was trying to do. <laughs> it didn't work. It all in. Yeah, squish it all in. So yes. I just left justified. Thank you, Ground Trooper, for resubscribing. Yes. And Mike Soul is here. Hey, hey, Mike, Mike Soul. Soul. Um, happy new year all happy new year miss command so if you want to support the show click subscribe or if you just like mm -hmm. it you can follow it and we'll uh it'll update you when there's new show on so year end roundup from last year i got some stats from stats. our show oh i, I like um, stats stats are good <laughs> we did 103 live broadcasts last year okay Quite that's a few. quite a few. Yeah. 103. That's like Which, a third of the year. Yeah, yeah, wow. pretty much. Because we do twice Less. twice a week, and there's 52 weeks, so there you go. Yeah. Just just shy of one every two weeks. Mm. Or, yeah. Mm. Is that right? Twice every, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, number of followers, we have 947 followers on Twitch. So every time we broadcast live, it goes to 947 people. It's crazy. Awesome. Um, Facebook, 1,200 people follow us. Nice. And on YouTube, 1,100 people awesome. follow us. So awesome, that's awesome. awesome. Awesome channel, Fox Mulder says. <laughs> Thank You're you. You're awesome for watching. Awesome name, Fox Mulder. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had some huge exclusive world debuts last year. Circus Convoy, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers, uh, Attack of the Petsky Robots, Ghosts and Goblins, Pingo, Keystone Capers, Kicks, Tober's Nightmare, Kilo Parsec, Turbo Arcade, and many others. Mm. Those were exclusive world debuts we did of those games. Very cool. And of course, some big shows we did, like last year's Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, yes. Always get lots of views on Atari that Atari Day, Atari Age Day 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, debuting the Quad Tari that happened last year. Uh, the Movie Cart. That was cool. That we debuted. That was yeah. very cool. They're still working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we also added 7,800 and 8-bit games mm -hmm. into the mix last year. Love the cat chilling can. Yeah. Oh, and he just walked away. <laughs> of course he went away. I'm getting a message that the hype train is close. Anyone, Anyone do, do for, for resell? Oh, is it? Mm. Oh, yeah, it is. says it close. Well, you got 56 seconds to do something. Something, yeah. Um, <laughs> 
We also had live, a bunch of live interviews with David Crane, Gary Kitchen, Dan That's Kitchen, cool. Bob DeCrescenzo, yeah. John Champeau, Nathan Strom, Muddy Funster, a.k.a. Lewis Hill, Eric and Robert Anschwitz, John Weisgerber, and Matt Smith, MK, a.k.a. MK Smith. Yes. Plus all the developers we chatted on uh, Atari Age Day as yeah, well. Yeah, tons. So we talked to a lot of people live on the show last year. It was last cool. Year. Yeah, it was very so cool. So I want to continue doing that nice. this year. More people on the show. Guests. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, 2022. See what that brings. Hopefully Portland, Re Portland Retro Gaming Expo oh, please. will be open again in the fall so we can go there, do some broadcasting from there, That'd be fun. have some fun there, meet some people. Love going to Portland. Yes. Love it. Love it there. Um, so oh, I don't. I didn't open any of the links, so you have to bear with me as <laughs> I open this up. As you up. pull them up, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take too long, but um so a big number of games dropped uh while i was eating dinner out for dinner <laughs> on what day was it was it it was friday because we just did the show and i was the show and i was like okay games are coming so keep watching and then oh we went, that's right we went out for dinner and we went I, out for a fancy dinner and he's on his phone i'm like what are you doing he's like, posting. I'm just posting to twitter and i'm like oh my god <laughs> yeah posting to twitter I'm posting to twitter so Tons of games were, were released for pre-order last Friday evening, mm. um, and that was New Year's Eve. Mm. Uh, Dog on it for the 2600, Escape from the Castle, which we have the exclusive debut, world debut tonight of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Game of the Bear, Hellway, Ladybug Arcade, Mr. Yo-Yo, Robot War 2684, Soul of the Beast, Unholy. Uh, so those are the 2600 games. So you can see all the covers there all these games the covers are always amazing they too. they are they're getting better and better like yeah. really <laughs> yeah. good covers yeah. um for the 5200 intellidiscs right there it's being released uh danger zone dragon's descent night guy and low res world castle days and wizard's dungeon for the 7800 all down there mm -hmm. and for the jaguar two games dr typo collection and gravitic minds oh so tons of games coming out. So they're all very cool. for pre-order now, if you want to get the jump on it, because he did say first in, first out. Mm -hmm. If you order it first, you'll get it first. Um, which leads us to Atari Age Day 2022, where we will be unboxing all of these games oh. for you to see and talking with the Excellent. developers Excellent. like we did last year. Nice. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll probably be early march around that area kind of post atari awards yeah post atari after, awards yeah. yeah that's a that's a that's a fair call yeah so that is what's going to happen around march ish Yay. early march we'll see I'll, I'll keep you up to date on what's happening cool dan cool. says loved atari age day that was a lot of fun it was so Talk, much fun talking with all those developers and you got to play games you spoke for nine the hours whole time you got hoarse by the end <laughs> and all i did was play video games for like nine hours nine straight hours <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> got very familiar with the new I, releases i was having a lot of fun yeah and you took you did most of the workload on that i was just playing games so yep. yeah that That's was fun. fine I, maybe i'll I get to talk it. next time yeah yeah give me a few scripts to read yep. <laughs> um so i got this in the mail uh the other day it's the <laughs> audio video s video switcher okay because both the 7800 and the Atari 8-bit computer yeah. both output S-Video. Okay, um, okay. So I was having to unplug and plug it into the retro tank. Oh, that's right? annoying. Yeah. So I got a switcher so I don't have to do you that. They're flick, always flick. plugged in. Nice. Um, so I'll give you a quick demo of how that works. Um, so I'll just put it on he all, that he, one. James always gets excited when you new get... New tech? Of course. Uh, new tech, <laughs> new cords... New, yeah. new plugs. So this, where's my remote control? Oh, here it is. So right now it is on the 2600. So let's get the menu up here. Okay, so I have profiles. Well, touching my arm. Get out of here. <laughs> so right now it's on the 2600. Yeah. So to switch to the 7800, all I have to do is go to slot two. Yeah. Very exciting. On the retro tank. Yeah. 
and then press AV2. And there it is. There's the 7800. Very nice. To and... go to the Atari 8-bit, go to, and it says Happy New Year. Yep. Well, now it does. <laughs> there we go. BHZC provided yep. this to us on yes, Friday, which is awesome. So. Uh, so if I want to go to the Atari 8-bit system, I go to slot 3 and press AV3. Oh, it's on screensaver. There we go. And there it is. It's on the Atari 8-bit. So it's just two buttons. That's really cool. I don't have to mess with the wires. So let's go back to slot 1 because we're 2600 night tonight. And AV1. Very there nice. you go. Super awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a really good uh, S-Video switcher. Uh, I can't see any degradation in the quality. That's good. Whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So, I mean, it, it's a brand name, GE. So that's should, good. Should be decent. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And good it switches stuff. quick and no problems, no dropouts, no weirdness. Yeah. A boy and his toys. <laughs> Retro Tank 5X is an incredible upscale machine. I love mine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you have it, you know it's really good nice. yeah. and has so many settings and the recent uh firmware update just is amazing so much you can do with it now yeah that's awesome yep so that makes my life a lot easier the toko 8 bit no delays no delays no no switching issues no no, no problems whatsoever just no click, big click. weights kind of no thing. no yeah. big dropouts oh, because the good. retro tank takes care of those dropouts okay. because it has a frame buffer Oh, a I see. Three frame buffer so that it, uh, if there's any issues, it just sails through it. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so let's get to the games. Uh, the first game up is an exclusive world debut. I need to make like a, a graphic for that. Or something. I think you do. Some some sort of exciting intro for exclusive world debuts. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll do that in the after the awards or something. <laughs> <clears throat> It'll be fun time. Yeah. So this. Uh, came as a surprise actually al posted about this game okay um on, in the atari age forum on december 29th um i had never heard of this game or the developer and nobody else had either <laughs> heard of this person or yeah. the game before he posted it and said it's available for pre-order right nice um so it was a complete surprise and then the developer reached out to me mm. saying, hey, do you want to put this game on your show? And I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, so that's really exciting that we're able to get our first look because there's no video of this game yeah. out there. There's nothing out there about cool. this game. Okay. Nobody knew it was so, even coming out. Except for Al. Exclusive world premiere. Yeah, yes. exclusive world premiere. Yeah. Um, and Eduardo said, I'll try to watch the live stream, but 6 p.m. is equivalent to midnight for him. Mm. Um, so if he can't, he'll watch it tomorrow. And I haven't seen mm. his name pop up. So maybe he's not able to watch it. Yeah. But uh, maybe. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can leave questions there for him if, yeah. if the, they aren't explained. But he sent along a big information sheet oh, about nice. himself and the game development. Nice. Okay. So Very we'll be cool. reading that out as we play. Okay. Um, let me just switch back. So he does have a website specifically for the game. So we're going to take a look at that quickly um, before we jump into the game. Because it's a really nice website, too. Let's reduce it down. There we go. Uh, I think I'll keep it like that. That's it, actually it pretty cool. Too small. <laughs> uh, so where is my thing? Web page. Okay. So Escape from the Castle, a new Atari 2600 game. Cat and Leo, two young and brave siblings, were playing in an enchanted forest near an abandoned castle. It's never a good thing to do. No, no. 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 When they fell into a trap made by the mealy bat. To capture our heroes and trap them in the castle for all eternity. Mm. Wow. See, that's what you get for playing near an enchanted forest by an abandoned castle. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad combo. Now they need your help to escape the castle as they face various challenges, but not before defeating the mighty melee bat and his gang of outlaws. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of screenshots, but we'll, um, we'll be seeing those in the game. Yeah. Um, so available soon, digital edition included a ROM file to run on Stella emulators and a user manual. Uh, you can play this on Atari 2600 system as well with a Harmony cartridge, which we'll be doing tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, collector's edition, which is available for pre-order right now. 
uh, included a new original Atari 2600 cartridge uh, user manual. Also, I thought that said used manual for a second. My mouse was over it. Uh, printed and a collector box. You needed an Atari 2600 system to play. Adventure, an adventure in 32K design program by Eduardo Villarino. Uh, 2021 Vila Games. So let's get to the game. Canadian Tenor says, I pre-ordered this game and all 2600 <laughs> games. All? <laughs> wow. Oh, very nice. Very dedicated. Yep, you're going to have a lot of fun when those start rolling in. Yes, there's a lot of good games. Set though. aside a few days off work. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, try them all out. Okay. And so. Phaser Cat Games says, I don't care what anyone tells me, I'm going to believe that this is Pig Cat 2. <laughs> sure. Why not? You can believe whatever you feel. Um. So, yeah. Escape from the Castle. Uh, Escape from the Castle. Here it is. The exclusive Woo! world debut of Escape from the Castle. And go. <laughs> Select Ooh, your hero. Cat or Leo? I'm going to take so cat. Let's take a look at Leo and cat or Leo. Very cute. Cat it is. So, let's... Oh, I have 10 minutes. What am I doing? <laughs> you got to escape from the castle in 10 minutes or something happens. So let's find out a bit about this game while you maneuver around. Ooh. Um, so there is some enemies. That one is the... Ooh. Guy. <laughs> you have to press reset, unfortunately. Oh no! Okay. Kitty, press reset. Cat, put someone put a treat on the reset. There we go. Um, so that was a dangerous spider that moves fast and shoots poison. So you definitely want to avoid the poison from that spider. But, okay, that's fine. But then there's this weird thing where you fly up in the air. Yeah. So do I have to run and well, there's literally no instructions. <laughs> oh, that says it's a tramp <gasps> that's a trampoline. Use it to jump higher. Yeah, but I have to get over that red thing, I think. I I'm already out. having trouble. Um, um, there's also a melee bat, the big boss who has ch captured our heroes. Defeat him by being smart and identify his weakest points. You're going to have to reset. That's fine. Uh, there's a, a pick bat, which is... What is no CC? What am I doing? Uh, the spider must be Australian. The foot of arena. Good evening. Ah! I pre-ordered this and all the games. Ah, the game is afoot. What? Anyone else try to click on the scroll bar in the video? Oh, oh honey. Goodness. Spider must be Australian. Deadly. Deadly. <laughs> Not CC. No CC. Oh, I don't think I can jump. Ah! <laughs> ah! Just avoid the bullets. I don't know how to get across it though. Jump. Oh, jeez. It's just it's very tight. It's a long jump. It's a yeah. very tight jump. Uh, there's also a pick bat, right-hand man of the melee bat. You'll need to move fast and dodge his quick attacks. No, no, no. So that's a lever, key element of the game. You must understand how to use the levers to solve the challenging puzzles. So what, how, how? Um, it doesn't say. Oh, yes. Uh, move up to climb stairs, enter doors, and push or pull levers. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Well, those don't kill you, but they... Uh, they take a chunk out. They take a chunk. There's no... Oh, that's a slider. Watch out. This magnetic disc can cause serious damage. No kidding. Ah. Couch compliant? No. Oh, couch compliant. No, ah. It is not couch compliant. That is... A button? It actually doesn't say what that is, actually. Uh, no. No. It doesn't say what that is. It's a button. L looks like a button. Um, so there are also a yellow key used to open the mystery yellow door. Uh, the doors, blue, white, and yellow doors lead to you to new rooms uh, to explore in the castle. Uh, ladders, which we've already used, I think. Access different floors of the castle. You cannot be hit by enemies while on the ladder. So if you make it to the ladder, you're fine. Torches. What secrets does this decorative object hold? So, something to do with the torches. It doesn't say what. Uh, skull. What will happen if a scary skull crosses your path? I don't think we've seen a skull yet. I think that just resets the lever. Oh, I can go past it. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Am I? 
down to pull the switch? Uh, down only goes down the stairs, so up is the uh, thing nope. to do for all of them. Am I supposed to do anything here? Will that kill me? It's a mystery. It does not say. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so button to jump, left or right to walk, down to go down the stairs, up to go up the stairs, up to enter doors, and pull or push levers. Um, so the bottom, the time at the bottom is the time left, and the zero says that's the total number of escapes. So you can escape more Multiple than times? once. It's a, mm. uh, it implies you can escape more than once. This needs to come with a comic book like Sword Quest. It would be a very appropriate there for a comic go. book with the nice uh, comic-y drawings of the two characters talking about their. Uh, adventures? Maybe it does. Maybe the manual is like a comic book. I can't get back though, can I? It doesn't appear because you can't get up can't on the... I can jump up. Nope, I can't. Hmm. Mm, there must be another way to get there. Must be. Um, there is... What says inventory? Is there an inventory page? What are you doing? Oh, I see. Just trying all the options. Oh. I'm gonna do something. Oh, uh, press game select to open the inventory. So, stay right there. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I guess that means you have nothing. You have nothing. Can you do anything on the screen? No. No. Okay. It just shows uh, you your inventory. Okay. Uh, to try to escape ten times in a row with any character to get a special message. But beware, after each escape, you will need to rush. The time to escape decreases. So apparently you have to do it ten times in a row. Mm. Mm. Yes, the key is bugging me too. Mm. There's something. There's, and, and it implied there's something to do with the torches. I know. Have you tried the torches? Yeah, I've tried a couple. Nothing I can tell. Maybe the yellow bounce pad can be picked up and used in other places. Uh, yellow maybe. bounce pad. What was the yellow bounce pad? The one... Oh, the yeah. one that bounced you across? Well, you can't get back to it. That's the problem, yeah. right? Mm. Until you die. But you can try it again. I went right. Could I go left at the beginning? Maybe I needed to go left. Maybe. Because once you're past that, you're done, I right? Uh, there may be there's something... To because that opens it up, right? But yeah. you can't get back there. That's what I'm trying to figure out, yeah. No. Hmm. Has some sort of uh, sword quest feel, yeah. Hmm. How do you pick up objects? I don't think you've run no, across I an object no, yet. No, I assume you just run into it like a lot of other games. I mean, this. That's the button. <laughs> oh! Oh! Got that with the torch. Maybe I, you have to hit it perfectly. Hmm. Mm. Well, found something with a torch. Mm. Maybe not all of them give you something. Mm. Yeah, I thought I'd try. So, let's read about the developer. So um, I'm Brazilian. Uh, sorry, but my English is not very good. Maybe I get a few words or phrases wrong. Hmm. I don't know. This is a dead end. don't know where else where to go. Is it? I played this a little bit. Oh, is it? <laughs> or is it? I don't know. You tell me. No, no, no. I, I walked I across wanna... that and it killed me. So I don't want to uh, deprive you of discovery. Discovery of dying again? <laughs> well, maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Maybe. Or maybe I dodge it? Maybe. Uh, oh, no, there's no path to the left. Or did you try? Did left? you try? You said you were going to try and go yeah, to the left. Yeah, there's nothing to the left. Oh, okay. Remember the days before internet, we had to figure games like this out on our own? <laughs> so try and pick that up or do something before you can't get back to it again. No? No. It's just a bouncy thing. Bouncy thing. No. <laughs> you, have to, you have to go right to the edge. Um, some important information and instructions about the game and me. I started developing Escape from the Castle in February 2021 and finished it in August 2021. At first, the game was called Adventures of Cat and Leo. 
But later I realized that Escape from the Castle was a better name and more commercial too. Yeah, more commercial. More commercial. <laughs> the Atari 2600 was my first video game in 1987. I was born in 1982. Oh, just... <laughs> I've been a programmer since 1997. The game is a tribute to my children. Katarina, five years old, and Leonardo, two years old. The idea of creating the game came uh, on the day I went to introduce the Atari 2600 to my kids. My daughter really liked Bobby is Going Home, mm. which is similar to this, where you're a character moving across um, a screen, multiple mm -hmm. screens. At the time, I thought, why not create my own game? Mm. Leonardo is autistic, and even at two years old, I noticed that he likes old games a lot. Uh, he is very calm watching his sister play the old games. This was an important fact in the creation of the game. I was really happy to see his excitement when Katarina played Escape from the Castle for the first time. It was amazing. Hmm. I thought of putting different attributes between Cat and Leo. For example, Cat would jump higher, but Leo would be more agile. But I gave up. I wanted Leo to grow up knowing he's no different than anyone else. Oh. That's a good, a good lesson. Oh. <laughs> I tried to walk across it, but you can't. Mm. You get that far just to die and figure it out each time. Love these old games. <laughs> <laughs> the names of the enemies were created by Katarina. Only the spi spider, Gai, was Leonardo's adventure. It's actually a word he used to speak at the time uh, the game was created. Due mm. to autism, he has a very large delay in speech. Anyway, Gai is not a word with a meaning in Brazilian Portuguese. I would have given up by now, Arena Foot says. <laughs> You can't give up. No! You must persist. I will. I will figure it out. Oh my gosh, I get it every time. <laughs> well, at least there's only one more. And there's heart, right? Does that give you help? How do you trigger it? I'm you just keep jumping you. at it? You don't want to tell me anything. Okay, it, you have to do something here. I'll tell you that. I, you, your foot gets caught. Um, well, what do you have to do? I don't know. There's three of them. I don't, I don't Which know. Which ones have you stepped on? All of them. No, you haven't. Oh, the last one. So you die every time <laughs> until you hit the right one? You haven't stepped on all of them. No, I haven't stepped on the last one. Hmm. Could that be a hint? I, <laughs> I figured that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a hint. <laughs> and right. <laughs> right into the pit. Okay. Uh... Developing Escape from the Castle wasn't that difficult. The game always worked very well on the Stella emulator. What was re very difficult and exhausting was getting to work on the Harmony cartridge, running on a real Atari 2600. A lot of things crashed on the Atari 2600. I believe the Stella emulator compensates Meryl for some programming Bain. errors. Oh, Thank you, Yay! Neo Media, for resubscribing three months. Thank you so much. Uh, it it's it's puzzly and also uh, action. Oh. Every time it's just easier to get rid of one. <laughs> but there's health. Fortunately. <laughs> hmm? I don't know. You're able to only do it sometimes. Oh. So here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And what good does that do you? Nothing. <laughs> does nothing. Oh, you have to do it in a certain order. Oh, oh my God. smart. Well, smart. That's annoying. Ugh. It is one of those games. Oh, it is. That you you, in, you die, start over. You die, have, start over. You have to die. Psst, psst, psst. Scared me. Can you watch right? that cat? No, I can't. I'm playing a video game. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Can Bye, you cats. watch that cat? Watch that cat while you're playing. <laughs> um. Yeah, the Stella emulator does compensate for a lot of things, and it's oh. always good to put the emulator into developer mode, which which on purpose messes things up. Yeah. And emulates issues that you'll have mm -hmm. on the twenty six hundred. So it's a good hint for all the developers out there. Put it into develop developer mode. No. 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 Nothing. Um, and the game makes very good use of vertical levels of things. Because you notice the torch is at a different level than the button, than the heart that appears. There da -da -da! we go! Ah! <laughs> ah. 
Okay. Uh, in fact, the biggest uh, difficulty in development was managing the memory banks. That didn't work. The bank switch uh, technique I already knew, uh, but applying it to the Atari game was challenging. It's not working. It's nice to have a choice of characters. It is, actually, yeah. It's very, very... This looks cute. It is cute. Bad kitty. No. <laughs> They really should have made a couch compliant with all the quick deaths. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yay! Da -da -da, you have a key. Let's check the inventory. You have a heart? Oh, wait. Can you move up and down, left, right? Oh. Oh, so you can use the key or the heart. Try it on the heart. Oh, now ah. you're full. There we go. It actually does not explain that in the manual, how to how to use the inventory, but it's pretty pretty easy to figure out. Um, hmm. I chose DPC Plus. It was a difficult decision because it ended up limiting me to 32k. Maybe Escape from the Castle would need 128k or more to get the way I really want it. Get that. Get that. Got that pesky key. Yep. Um, oh. Due to the lack of memory, unfortunately, I had to remove a lot of things from the final version of the game. There was an intro screen. I had to remove at least six stage screens. Three different types of enemies and four different puzzles and more hero animation frames. But what bothered me the most is I had to remove the game background music. Oh. I probably can't jump to that, can I? I don't know. Can hey, you? kitty! You want me to die? Fine. <laughs> you gotta experiment with this game. Yep. Not even close. Immediate death. Uh, okay, that many that many Atari games don't have background music, but I noticed that the current homebrews always have background music. <laughs> that was the hardest decision of all, but I didn't have much choice either. I, either I removed the background music or I wouldn't have the memory to finish the game. Use the key on the switch. I already... D which didn't work. switch? Oh, I see. On the switch. Oh, that would make sense. Which, yeah. Which switch? The the switch that wouldn't trigger. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Does that actually flip sides? Yes, that it one? does. Oh, and the but other that one. other one didn't. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Jump. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of adventure games, point and click, especially by Lucas Arts, uh, for PC. My idea was to create a game. Uh, like this, but for the Atari 2600, it's impossible. So I had to adapt the action platform style. Anyway, I managed to create the inventory system. Ah, <laughs> just touched it. But it, cost, touched. but it cost me a lot of memory. Even though I thought of removing the inventory, freeing up memory, and being able to re-add the background music to the game, but I thought if I did, the game would lose a lot of its identity. I thought of dividing the game into parts 1, 2, and 3, but in the end I gave up on this idea because it would really be very expensive if I released it on cartridge. I really thought the best option was to remove screens, enemies, and puzzles, making it a unique game with a beginning, middle, and end. Escape from the Castle is a game that seems difficult at first, but, what, but you have to play, play, and play more to understand and move forward. Um... But once you learn it all, it seems pretty easy game, actually. The big problem is because of this, combined with the fact that it's an adventure game full of memory limitations, ended up being a short game. So uh, he said not to play the game too much. <laughs> he ran right into me. Was he right there? He went voom, oh. straight down. Yeah, a little unfair. <sighs> so I would say after you use that key on the Switch, don't go any further. Because he I said, didn't use the key on the Switch. I know. I didn't get to that point. If you do. Oh. Yeah, because he's. Oh, cause he said, I don't, see. He said, "Don't play it too much." Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Because we can't give away everything. No, that is yeah. totally fair. I actually have. I no want people to figure out the game for themselves. Yeah. So, I yeah. actually have no idea how big this game is, so <laughs> hopefully that isn't too much. <laughs> I don't <laughs> <Yeah>. know. <laughs> it could be very big. Um. Ten minutes. Uh, the fact that it was a short game made me afraid to publish it beforehand. In fact, the initial idea would not to make it available to the general public, but only my children. I changed my mind from the moment I started talking to some people who encouraged me to launch it in a cartridge with a box and a menu. Because it is an, a, sh a short game, I would like you to test the game only on Zero Page Homebrew's live time. Nice. If possible, try not to advance too far through the game, as this can be a little frustrating for the general public. Um, especially since it's a possibility you will finish the game during the live stream. Did he do that the, the other times I've gone through? Every advance you make show in your live will be a spoiler for the audience. So maybe we should leave it 
you're not using the Well, key. I can't get past the, past the cat now because he keeps running into me. I guess you have to <laughs> run straight over because oh. he, he, he dive bombs you the moment you come over. So I like the cutback show you the effect of the switch. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I like that. It makes it very movie like. They did that in Circus Convoy. Yes, they did. I'm is, sure it's in other games. Is that the first 2600 game to do a cutscene? Do they do cutscenes in um, Pitfall? Do you hit things and then you see something elsewhere? There's a game. Not Pitfall. Not Pitfall 2 either. No. Is there? Can Switches? anybody think of a game that, like, you do something in the game and it goes and shows you the effect on a different screen? I can't think of a 2600 game. I'm like sure. a homebrew or an original game. I'm that sure does I've that. encountered that before, but maybe I'm just thinking of Circus Convoy because we played that not that long ago. Yeah. Well, we'll leave that up to the uh, viewer to think about that, but I can't think of one right now. Um, anyway, some people close to me have tested the game, didn't make much, much progress. Mm -hmm. Indiana Jones? Did Indiana Jones have a cut cutaway scene? I didn't play Indiana Jones too much, especially as a kid. I was like, I didn't have the instructions, so it's like, it's a baffling game without instructions. <laughs> I had no instructions for any of my 2600 games because they were just loose carts. In a bin that I bought for a dollar, you know, mm. none of the instructions came with it. Um, and the internet really wasn't a huge thing at certain Sadly. points. Yeah. Mm. So a little tough. Oh, jump. Um, I did the box and the manual um, art artwork myself. I'm not a professional designer, but I believe I have a pretty good idea about it. I wanted to make the project completely. The main cover art with the castle I bought from a designer, and I secured the rights to use in a commercial version. So he did all this game. That's awesome. All on his own, except for ah! the <laughs> Except for the cast <laughs> castle artwork. It's a flying cat face. Uh Pac-Man 8K has the intermissions. Yes. Does that count? Yeah, oh, one from sort of. said he does. Does it? Where it f where it goes in another yeah yeah like shows I'm you the results of something yeah. in a different room. Mm. I mean, the Pac Man AK, I don't think that really counts because it's not you affecting something. It's just like here's another screen, here's another screen, here's another screen in linear yeah, order. Yeah, said C. Yeah, I can I can I that makes sense. Yeah, I bet there where is one. You hit one. a button, you see something happen elsewhere. <sighs> yes, his does. Yes, his does. Yeah. Yep, you are correct. Um, I can't remember which game it is. I, I think the one with the diving. That he makes so many games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you press some in, it goes, zzzz, and you you see the effect somewhere else. Yeah. Yep. That would make sense. I can't recall mm. any VHC games that do that. I am almost certain one does. It feels like cut yeah. away. Yep. The door opens somewhere. Yeah. So very cool game. Yeah, yeah. We, we promise not to give away too much. No, no, we won't go so too, too any further. So I think we have given away enough to show well, what, what the, the game is about. Is, right? There's enemies, there's puzzles. It's unforgiving. It's unforgiving. There's things that you affect die, other things. That's it. It's yeah. one of those games. Yeah. Very old school, but it's fun. It's fun. It isn't Ninja Sky or Night Guy. I've played those a bunch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's it's very solid. There's yeah. There is a bit of screen jump. I'm going to show you one thing, though, that I discovered. Okay. He may not. He may not like me to show him. Why? This. Why? Because you you figured it out. Because there's a bug. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> it's not a game breaking bug. No. So it's just kind of a oh that's interesting kind of thing. Um. And it's uh. No further than you've gone. So okay, that's. I don't fine. have to show anything. That's not part of it. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I know it's a scanline issue when Tanya was playing. I think it's on the other switch. Yeah, when it you goes, try to hit and it refuses to go. But maybe it's actually part of the game. I, I didn't look at the line it could count. Be, it could be just notifying you, nope, the switch isn't moving. Like, yeah. yeah, you can't. Uh, you have to hit it a bunch of times. Three times, Vitoko's like, hit it three times. That part baffled me for a long time. I I'm the sorry. problem is, is see, he didn't go straight for you. What was that? 
Oh, I geez. think what happens in this game it is resets it resets where, where he it is. It remembers where it killed you. And it killed you right on the left really? corner. So it's always staying on the left well, corner. Well, I think it's just the page is respawning where it last was. Yeah, that's what I yeah. mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's in this part. <laughs> okay. Um, you cannot... Uh, right now you can't jump to the left, but maybe there's another way to do that. Yeah. Um, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it, can, can you keep going? You can. <laughs> and I put it on turbo mode. Oh, really? On Stella. Yeah. And I'm guessing it goes 255 screens. It took a long time, and I didn't count it. So... I, I kept going to the right on turbo mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually it wraps around to another memory location. Oh. Of another screen. Oh. And you can actually recover yourself again. Oh, really? As soon as you touch a screen where you're supposed to be on that level. Gotcha. And I believe it's the screen with the door. Oh, that's funny. On the funny. other side. I can't show it now because it literally took five minutes on wow. turbo mode. Turbo mode to get to the wraparound screen. Yeah, you just passed the leap of faith. Someone was saying <laughs> yes, Indiana yep, Jones leap yep. of faith. And I, and you can go you can go back. I think you fall if you go back though. Yeah, because once you hit the other screen, you'd fall off the screen. I think. Oh, that is Let's so see. funny. I'm gonna maybe jump. it's intentional. Maybe it's a little trick. Uh, maybe, but it doesn't really it's help you. It's just kind of funny. And it takes it would take forever in this normal <laughs> yeah. mode to do it. I think because you're jumping mid-screen, it doesn't... He just didn't... Yeah, he just... Yeah. <laughs> but well, I, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's just a funny, funny thing. It yeah. doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever. Yeah. So... <laughs> I, like, I like finding those little funny <laughs> things. Um... Yeah, so thank you so much, Eduardo, for letting mm -hmm. us do the exclusive debut of mm -hmm. your game. Um, so that is available for a pre-order yes. in the Atari Age store right now. Mm -hmm. um, so if uh, you're intrigued about this game... It looks um, really cool. Yeah, especially for a first, first game. Yeah. Now, I do want to play it some more. Off, I do. Off, offline. Yeah. Not show anybody. But because um, <laughs> we're not allowed. Yeah, Easter egg. Yeah, it could be an Easter egg. What he could do is... Put something way, way, way to the right, mm -hmm. and like his initials or something, <laughs> yeah. in one of those screens. That would be nice. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's funny; it repeats that screen over and over again. Mm. Yeah, it's funny. It's rare game ships with no bugs. That's for sure. Found oh, a way to open yes. doors from across the screen in twenty six hundred Mappy. Ooh, that's cool. Oh wow, well, that's interesting. That yeah. John, let John know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you naughty! Why are you biting me? Because he hasn't got treats yet. Oh. Does anybody want to give this poor little cat some treats yeah. while we have a break? Yeah. A natural break. Give up some the, bits. Give up some bits for the kitty. <laughs> Sir, can you spare some bits for it's the kitty? It's treat time. <laughs> yum, yum, Yay! yum, yum. <laughs> Thank you, every tart collection. It's so funny. He it goes like, ah. <laughs> he panics. He panics because I think he's maybe looking for the bell or something. Yeah. He hears the bell. He looks for it. Oh my god. He is so fast. Ding ding. Hold on, I'm not ready. Okay. Um There you go. So thank you, Ivory Tower Collections, yes. for feeding the cat today. <laughs> Atari thanks you a lot. Yeah. Um Yeah. Ding. Good kitty. Good kitty. So the next game we're gonna be playing is Pinfinger. Mm. Uh by Kev Kelly. Uh, it was first posted on his YouTube channel on December 14th, um, and then posted in the Atari Age forums December 29th. Uh, he sent me an up to, did he send me an up to date build? I think he posted this new build. I can't remember. I think he sent it to me. Yeah. Um, it's a 4k game. Other games he's made, ATCS 2600, Bag Boy, Cone Ball, Cross Dock, Lake Eola, Lawn Boy. Pinfinger, Lineman, and Quiz uh, Quiztari. Mm. Um, he is known for making games out of jobs. <laughs> Things that you do as a job. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He's like, well, you want to be a, a, a warehouse worker? Or <laughs> you want to fix uh, lines on the pole? Yeah. Um, you want to mow lawns? <laughs> yeah. It's all like jobs. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Mm. Uh, you can do download this in the Atari Age forums. 
Um, he's actually put in code that works with the plus cart so that you're able to exit out of the game back into the menu of the plus cart. And I don't know if I've ever demoed that ability on the show. Okay. I think I might have, but this is a good opportunity to demo that again. Um, no, wait till I'm Tony. All, you have so them, many. I know, I put Why too much in my hand. So many for they, the kitty. They all, they all... I'll That's give it. him one more. I'll give him one okay. more. Let him ding it one more. There you go. He's like, don't take it away. Don't take it. Oh. There you go. So I'm going to put in the plus card for this one. Cat is training the humans. He's very good at it. At <laughs> re plus. Ready. Yeah. He can't have too many treats. No. Well, he can. He can. <laughs> <laughs> the vet, the vet will, will chastise us when we go so. he's like oh chubsters yeah okay so hooray plus card. hooray plus card so if you go into my roms okay uh, top one. Oh, sorry and then uh pin finger pin finger and then pin finger again i'll show you how it exits out of the game so the way it's been programmed in is that you press to the right and press reset at the same time or press to the right and then press reset and it'll exit out of the game and go back in right to the reset. plus card oh i see so do you want me to hold to the right then yep, hold to the right there Yay. you go isn't that awesome that is awesome so this is actually a two-player game so i'm going to plug in the other um, oh cart label someone's pointing out oh thank you thank you thank you arena foot yeah, animal guilt trips, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all flickery. Sure is. There we go. Oh, almost set my tablet. Don't sit on your tablet. So, cartridge. There we go. This Why game. Are we this, this game already terrifies me. <laughs> I, I can see just by the label where it's going. So he says, uh, here's a new game that I made that is 99% complete. All is left, perhaps, is adding more patterns, a couple mm -hmm. more sounds. The game started as an exercise in a data tables and is using my new portable programming setup. I got a small Windows tablet to use Visual Batari Basic and Atari Dev Studio to use well at work or on the go. Mm -hmm. I tried to make some concise code, and it is a game that uses less than 4K approximately 80 bytes free to use so let's get into it um i'm assuming everybody nope loaded up my roms uh i'm assuming everybody has seen the movie aliens and if you remember that portion in the show where um bishop the android mm. um holds down what's his name uh i don't know the names you know this actor um i know i might know the actor yep what about bill paxton bill paxton yeah hell <laughs> holds his holds his hand down on top of his i yeah. believe and takes a knife and goes like this okay but then he goes at super speed because he's an android right? yeah 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 and bill paxton's like screaming it's an excellent excellent scene <laughs> it's so good and it shows what an android uh is able to do yeah. right yeah so it shows you that, oh, he's not human. Okay. The game Full Throttle has a scene with that also. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Kev Kelly's in the chat. Welcome. So you can answer all your questions. And he, he said, title, pin finger, couch compliant? Yes. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Um, so the name of the game is Pin Finger. Goes by other names, but Pin Finger sounded so much cooler. The main rule of the game is to avoid stabbing the hand for each pass. So you should be able to go that one and then that one and press the button. Mode one, mode two, mode three. Yeah. So do mode one. Yeah. And you get a point every time you don't stab your hand. <laughs> and it's game over. Ah! Game over, man. <laughs> game over, man. And Bill Paxson says that too. He has the best lines in the movie. <laughs> and um, the ah! number in the top... <laughs> The number in the top right of stab shows you which which finger next you have to stick uh, between the hole in the finger. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
I keep I keep going too <laughs> too short every time I go back. And the bars on the bottom show you how much time before you have to stab again. So if you run out, it's also game over. <laughs> I can feel the pain of the hand. Mike Saul says this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, weird. it is quite a different game. It's definitely not an occupation game. <laughs> I suppose if you are what a miner on Alien, then it is. Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, it didn't get paid for that, but it was part of. It was a mining ship, right? Uh, originally. Yeah. I believe it is. A vague recollection of that. You mean the place they're going to? Was it a mining station? Uh, it was, yeah, I think it was a mining station. It was an outpost. These are the details that really have nothing to do with the actual story. But no, not really. Just, just an excuse for there being heavy machinery on the ship, I think. Yes. But, I mean, the people that are going there are Marines, I believe. What are you doing? Marines, Marines can work in mining. So, there's different patterns for each of the different modes. Um... So mode one, the patterns are one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, ah, two. That, that was pretty then good. Then one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, five, one, four, one, three, one, two. Oh, one, two. No, that's two player. We're not going to play that yet. So try mode. So what is it? One. Uh, so. What am I doing? You have to stab. It goes, tells you what. Ah! The top, the top right. I'm getting shows stabbed you, by a cat. <laughs> shows you which fingers you, uh, it's gonna go for. But you do have to refresh every once in a while and stab, even when you're not supposed to, or you will run out of time. Oh, I see. And those little dots in between will save you. Will they? Um, because sometimes it's going from part six. Hey. hey oh, hey, I hey, see. Hey, I didn't. Hey, I didn't hey, quite hey. get that. Okay, that makes hey, sense. Hey, hey. Let's try this again. Bad cat. Two, one, what? That's three. Right? One, oh, two, one, one, three, one, four, one, five, yeah. one, six. He's chewing. Stop it. Stop your chewing. Stop your chewing. Um, mm -hmm. If you select the single player option, you're presented with a second menu. We'll be selecting the mode by pressing up. So we haven't gone through the modes yet. Just the different patterns. Uh, you've only get... uh, this determines the pattern in which the knife will travel. There are nine patterns, the first three being the most popular and widely known patterns. Ugh, cat. The it's timer should be me. just enough if it goes from position one to six. Oh, really? I was fearful of the time running out when I was testing it out. And and you are able to stab in the... No, you can't really. You have to hit the number. You, you don't You don't get any extra time if you don't hit the number. No, you do. No, you try don't. it. Try it right now. Nothing. Oh. Oh, really? You were lying to me. I thought I could. Press a ray. No. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I swear I did, but maybe not. Yeah. No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, this would be some been a type-in game in the old Apple II magazines. Yeah, it seems like that kind of thing. So which mode are you doing? Two. Mode two. two. Yeah. So mode pattern two is one, oh. two, one, three, one, four, Don't one, hit five, it twice. Six. Go to no. Go to no. Go to pattern two. Or pattern three, sorry. So pattern three is one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, two, six, two, three, six, four, six, five, six, four, six, three, six, two, six. <laughs> I can see why this started as a uh, data table <laughs> exercise. Pressing left while on the mode screen will enable easy mode. Oh, which will allow multiple hits with the knife. I think that's what I was on. It was easier? It allows you to press multiple times. It is a single button game. That is true. Oh, oh. too late. Go no. And go there. And then press left. There, the little dot. So it allows you to that? press multiple times during a run. Oh. Oh, you, you also get... Oh, wow. You get... So you were playing this before. No, sure. I wasn't playing this one. Yes, you were, because I remember... Or no, you were, maybe you were showing a video of it. I, my, I think I was showing a video. It's like, oh, you screwed up, but it lets you keep playing. What's the punishment? Like, you get only X number of tries? Maybe. Oh, then the left there. See, it's counting down. It's not moving. The right one. Yeah. Yeah, it went down one. Uh, with easy mode, the right status bar is the timer. Left status bar is your health. Once, once that runs out, the game is over. So it's more like it's an easy mode. So it's you're an able, easy mode. So it's not game over right away. It shows you... 
if you have cut yourself, though. Yeah, where you last cut yourself. Uh, pressing down while on this mode will change the speed of this of the knife. Go to no. Oh, we have to look at all the modes. There, there we go. go. Go no. Go one. Yep. Yeah, and go down. Okay, so this is... There's three speeds, default being the slowest. Okay, so go down again. That's the sec. Okay, so go to the two. So okay. we'll go in turbo mode. Whoa! <laughs> This is giving my cats ideas. Uh oh, of stabbing you or attacking the screen. <laughs> that is a lot harder. Um, you get one point for oh each successful gosh. stab and a ten point bonus for each completed pattern, except in the two player mode and random. If you select two player mode, there will be no mode select. Instead, the game will start, and you will notice there is now an indicator in the top left. Second player will now choose the destination by pressing the fire button, with each pixel indicating the position. There are no bonuses in the two player mode. If you stab the hand, you lose a map with a continue screen, which we know how that works. It's also a timer indicated by the two color bars on the side of the score. Oh yep. my gosh. Okay, I think we covered it all. So, you're still on full speed? Uh, one speed. Oh, okay. Full speed it's is It's hard. Full speed is really hard. Because it just barely... You barely have time to press it, right, in between fingers? Yeah, you have to just lightly tap, because if you push it with any force, you're going to hit the hit the finger. Let me try full speed mode. See how I can do. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's... it's it's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oops. Kids mode, or if that says. <laughs> I hope it's not kids mode. Don't, ge don't oh give my kids God. ideas. Uh... Mark Lee Johannes, this would be a good game for artificial intelligence to learn it. <laughs> it would, <laughs> yes. actually. be a very good game. It's all timing. Yeah, fast mode is... You have to concentrate a lot. Phaser Cat Games says, The menu graphics are really fun to me for some reason. I think they're pretty funny. The the, the one finger, two finger, three yeah, finger. Yeah, they are. Yeah. One, two... One, two, three. <laughs> it's very innovative. It's like how many fingers that, that are left, okay, just right? Gonna crash out. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna play two player mode. Okay. So go to two. Okay. And I dictate oh I see. I dictate by pressing the button. Which one you have to go to next. Oh I see. That's funny. I'm guessing it's only slow speed you can do. Yeah, it didn't give it didn't seem to give any options. I was really happy with my menu. It combined sprites, missiles, and balls to get them like that. Yeah, very innovative. To use like the things from the game as the menu. Kev Kelly, is there? Are there different speeds on two player? Get, oh, did I run out of time? Go to no. You must have. No, I didn't. maybe I accidentally. Go to it. two player. Yeah. Then go up. No, don't no. press the button. I didn't press. I press. Yes, you did. No, not twice. I just pressed two player. Yeah, I don't want you to press the button. Go to no. And just go to two. Okay. Don't press anything. Now go. Now go up and down. No, there's no speeds in two-player. I didn't think to let two-player mode have a faster speed. Well, so it would some be... Because it's really slow. Yeah, but you have to pick up and down, yeah. so I think it would be a little challenging for It'd you to It'd be challenging pick. for me to yeah, pick. Yeah, to pick, to pick the numbers. My turn? Yep. Oh, up, down? What? How do I do this? You press a button. Wait till five. Just made it. I actually notice in two-player mode, you can go nuts on the button. You can go multiple hits. Go okay. yes. Oh, it's me. Oh. Oops. You keep thinking you're you're choosing it, eh? <laughs> no, I'm I'm being too clever. So I can reset. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. I thought I was able to reset. Ooh, 
there's just enough time yeah from six to one this one you have to be a bit more i don't know Anticip anticipating what's precise coming precise of what's going on i don't know yeah you have to really watch the numbers on this one because it's not a regular pattern so you can't really anticipate i mean you can oops i missed it <laughs> And I almost ran out of time. See, I reset in the palm. You can reset in the palm. <laughs> go to go from six to one again. Oops. Six, and watch. I'm gonna reset. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Six to one. There. Nice. See? You can reset. <laughs> I tried through the palm, but my timing was always off. Yep. Can you knife through the palm line? Yes, you can. I like how the hand bleeds when you stab it. Yeah, yeah. really cool. <laughs> so, super fun game. Uh... Simple and fun. Simple and, and kind of bunch of options. Disturbing at the same time. Yeah. Maybe one faster speed on the two player. What do you think? Do you think you're gonna enter it in fast enough? I don't I know. Think... Maybe. 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 Yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah. You have to try it. I thought that would be a fun little cheat, like secret tracks in, in racing, racing games. games. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot, for posting that. Nice. The link to the game where you can download it yourself. Okay, so the next and final game of the night is Immunity, which we have played before. And it was a really interesting, mm. timely game. Very timely. <laughs> uh, by Mike Losh, um, a.k.a. Soul, who is not in the, in the chat, chat tonight. No, yeah, Mike Soul's in the chat. Is he? Yeah. Oh, good. He said hi earlier. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so this build is from December 31st. It's a 16K F6 game. Mm. Um you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Mike's hanging out. Oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, the game supports beginner and advanced mode with the left difficulty. So we'll start mm -hmm. on beginner. Uh, in the beginner mode, the viruses move significantly slower and there are fewer viruses per tissue and overall to clear. Mm. The reset switch will take you directly back to the title screen. So let's pop that in. Go from the plus cart to the harmony card. There we go. Oh, wrong one. Oh, you're on player Swap. two. Swapped one and two. There you go. Excellent. Um, so as you remember, we said on the show that Mike... Oh, okay. Every game is at a different volume. Because <laughs> you can set volume levels. Um, remember I said, uh, in a cruel twist of irony, he said, the inspiration of the game has become very real for me. <laughs> yes. so December 21st, he got sick. He's better now. Oh, no. Well, I'm, so, I'm, I'm hoping you're feeling better. He got, uh, he got COVID. Yeah. Tenth day of symptoms, which are mild. Um, so, but he got better. Yeah. He got better. Yeah. Um, so, do you remember how to play this game? Uh, vaguely. I think so. I think so. Figure it out. What do I have to do? What do I have you to do? shoot, and if, the if your bullet goes through something, it slows down. If it doesn't, then it stays fast. You have to shoot those three times to turn them all yellow. And go, and then press up. And go eat them. Yum, yum, yum. Press the button. Oh, you didn't do it. What? Go up, press the button. There you ah, go. okay. And repeat. Uh -huh. So I'm going to open the instructions again. So that I can read the full instructions. Yeah, it's painful when you miss. <laughs> uh, use the left joystick. Oh, okay. You play the role of parts of the human immune system, which you can fling antibodies from a ribosome. And if you neutralize an infecting virus, you can tell a macrophage to gobble it up. Love it. But watch out. If Love any virus it. finds its way to your cell membrane, it can find a place to latch on, and which will increase the viral load and decrease your health. Clear enough viruses from one tissue type, and your point of view will switch to another. Which is another one. In the sequence, lung, mucous membrane, which you're on mucous membrane now, 
Uh, bone, muscle, brain, and artery. With each tissue type, you'll find the virus mobility differs, adding challenge to your task. In this demo version of the game, you gain some antibodies each time you clear a virus, and additional antibodies each time you clear a tissue type. Completely clearing all the infected viruses before you run out of antibodies to win immunity. But if you run out of antibodies with the infection still present or your health drops to zero, there is a deathly game over. Take care lining up the antibody shots as the cell membrane pores continually cycle between wide open and more closed. Kev Kelly says, I love this game. The look is awesome. It has that fun, varied arcade gameplay. There's a lot going on. Eat it up before it attaches itself. Yum, yum. There you go. Yeah, there's multiple things coming down. There's things impeding. Oh, no. Oh, don't just shoot. Wait till your thing's gone and I... aim. There you go, one more. Oh, no, yep. it attached itself. It's too late. Fight off the ones you can. Ugh. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Dead. Love the game over screen. <laughs> That's why I used it as the uh, nice graphics on the fake cart. Excellent. Oh, shows your yeah. end screen. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, oh, I love this reset. That's so awesome because it's like here's your dead, and here's your score, and you're dead, and here's your score. Very couch compliant. Um, immunity uses the left joystick. Press fire as prompted on the title screen to begin gameplay. Use this, move the cell's ribosome left to right with the joystick. Press fire to fling an antibody up, hopefully striking a virus and neutralizing a portion of its outer spikes, which will change color from dark red to yellow uh, to indicate neutralization. Viruses, has six, viruses have six zones of spikes. Hitting a virus when it is farther from the cell membrane will cover more of the zones with one antibody shot. Oh, so if you hit it up there, it'll cover more of it. Oh, it covers like half of it. Oh, there you go. It only took two shots. Nice. Mm, further away is That's better. really cool. If you want to see the new play mode, let three viruses attach to the cell membrane. Three? How do you oh. do that without fully dying? Let them go all, all of a sudden. Crazy cat. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. That is not your couch to destroy. You think it is, but it's not. Come over here. Come over here. Cute cat. Oh. Hi. Lay down. Lay down. Be cute. Um... So we definitely do want to see the new gameplay mode. There you go. Eat it up. Yum, yum, yum. But we'll do that after you play for a bit. Oh, no. Successfully play. Ah, no, you have to wait. Wait. Eat it up. Yum. Level two. Okay, so the... What is showing on the screen? Let's see if I can find that. your health on the top left starts at 96% and rises each time a tissue is cleared up to a maximum of 99 each time a virus latches onto cell membrane the health is lost up to three viruses will latch within a tissue type each latched virus will replicate into four additional viruses when the oh. tissue type switches hmm. Yeah, actually, the music is really good. We should let it play oh. uh, next time. Uh, the title screen music. Ooh, so slow. <laughs> Go on my lap. Kitty. Pac Man it. Yay! You won! Woo! So you can actually win the game? Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you won. <laughs> you healed yourself. Okay, so now let three of them hit the membrane the membrane like right off the bat yeah. just I let him like hit. it and i like the reset a lot and i will go to the new instructions okay hey atari 2600 dude so the new instructions are 
Mm -hmm. um, you control the free ribosome that can shoot sideways back and forth through the cell. It can collect vitamin molecules, which look like a V. Okay. I mean, you can't see this yet. Um, that will allow oh. it to kill viral RNA and okay. new virus copies without losing any health or energy. The energy molecules, looking a bit like an E, need to be bumped into the mitochondria at the side of the playfield for, the, for the energy to be absorbed. Complicated. When there's more energy, the free ribosome will shoot faster. If there's only minimal energy, it cannot kill a new virus attempting to escape. It will just bounce off. If the ribosome has at least energy of level one, hitting a free virus will kill it, leaving behind some loose spike proteins that can also uh, that can be collected to build antibodies, useful in other phases of the game. You can also hit the G viral RNA and attempt to neutralize it before it implants in on the endoplasmic reticulum, where it can grow new virus copies. Viral RNA will expire after growing several virus copies, but the new viral RNA will inject it to take its place. Oh my god. Uh, after an infection round of several RNA strands, once there are no more live RNA or free viruses, the play will switch back to the external cell mode. But if the new virus escapes, the total viral load will be higher. Hopefully you can build up some extra antibodies. So it switches to an internal cell view after three of them latch. So you're about to go into that mode. There this? you go. Yep. So, what am so I this doing? is the new mode. So mm -hmm. you are shooting left and right. Oh. So you want to get that E. Oh, I don't think that worked. Oh, you're fast now. So shoot that guy. Shoot him. I think you want to sh wanted to shoot that. I don't know what I'm shooting. Neither do I. So the viruses are releasing viral Those... RNA. Right. And they are attaching to the bottom, but you don't want to let it do that. So you got to shoot that RNA strand. Oh, too late. Nope, I can't get that far. Um, what, what's the E? Uh, the E is energy molecules that need to be bumped into the mitochondria at the side of the play field. Mm. I'm guessing it's those two bumps. Nice. Um, the V is vitamin molecules that allow it to kill viral RNA and new co vir virus copies without losing energy or health. Oh, they're making more. There may be some line count issues. Oh my gosh, those move oh really fast. They just made, you have to move down just a little bit, I noticed. <gasps> they're escaping. There you go, move down just a touch. There you go. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, you can't do it. You have to get ease or something. Get that thing. Interesting. That's a vitamin molecule. worked oh it worked oh didn't quite get it very no. very uh what is that little dot get it get that dot the rna that tiny one? Oh, that's the spike protein i think you were mentioning before. okay that gets released from the virus i'm not very good at this there right. we go oh they're coming up shoot it shoot that e or something <sighs> i took vitamins once Kevin in two days <laughs> i think you have to shoot that e i think you need the e to get that e Oh, oh, it just, just moved snuck up. Past. There we go. Oh, it bumped it. No. Oh, oh, there no. you go. Now you have the energy. Oh. Five minutes. Your energy is low right now. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna release. Get the oh, my. oh, something happened. That it was good. No, I got the, vi the vitamins. You're not paying very, very much attention to what's going <laughs> I'm on. I'm not, not understanding what's happening. I do. I get it. Okay. I get Please it. explain. Need it. It's releasing new viruses, so the RNA is creating a new virus, and then I'm supposed to try and get the virus, I think, before... No, nope, it's not nope. working. I, I, I think I need more energy or more... <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Five minutes. That's neat. Yes, it's a really cool concept. Oh, it's going to release some. There they come. Oh, oh, vitamins. Did that help? I don't know. I think you need the E. <laughs> 2600 Pac-Man ate a vitamin. I didn't really uh, pay too much attention to when, what you were saying. Well, it's it's when a it, lot when you were of playing. information. You have to bump that into the left thing. I don't know. 
Oh, oh, oh. I think it worked. Oh, some line count issue there. Back to normal. Back to normal. So it's good that you got back to normal. So you're, in it, you're about to die. 38% health. No, nope. go eat that guy. Eat that guy. Pac-Man it up. Okay, let me read that again. <laughs> that I kind of got it. Now but... that we've seen it some more. Okay, you control the free ribosome yeah. that can shoot sideways back and forth through the cell. Mm -hmm. So you're in the cell at that point. Yeah. It, can it can collect vitamin molecules that allow it to kill viral RNA and new virus copies without losing energy and health. So you need the vitamin to get the RNA and the virus copies. The energy molecules, the E, need to be bumped into the mitochondria at the side of the play field for the energy to be absorbed. Oh, I see. So you have to bounce it. At the right spot. Yeah. When there is more energy, the ribosome will shoot faster. Uh, there, if there's only minimal energy, it cannot kill a new virus attempting to escape. It will just bounce off. So you need more energy by bumping the E's into the sides in order to actually kill the new viruses. Nice. Okay. This is very educational. I like it. It is. Yeah. Like, really, really good. Like, I can see the, the manual being very in-depth about... Yeah, I'm how, excited for the manual, actually. ...how viruses <laughs> work. Like, you could, you could give this game to uh, a chemistry or bio student, biology a Yeah, a biology class. student, yep. for sure. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections, I really like the concept of this one. I'm also a fan of Fantastic Voyage on the 2600 too. Yeah. This game makes good use of the 2600 graphics elements. It really does. Because everything's uh, on. on horizontal levels. Uh, it's very, very smart about how it works. Because until one of those, uh, the viruses attaches itself, it doesn't move the next one down. And when it does move the next one down, it goes into triplicate mode to get all three of them, rather than using any flicker. So really, really, really smart. Um, you can also hit the G viral RNA and attempt to neutralize it before it implants on the endoplasmic reticulum where it can grow new virus copies. Vial RNA will expire after growing several virus copies. Okay. But new viral RNA will inject to take its place. After an infection round of several RNA strands, once there's no more live RNA or free viruses, the play will switch back to the external cell mode. Okay, I think I understand it a bit more. It's, it's going into that uh, high school biology. Yeah. Well. Wow. And it, might More be, so. it might be the only game based on the virus that shall not be named to re be released too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure that nobody's making one for the PS4. It might be a PC game out there. <laughs> the PS4. Or PS5 or Xbox. Switch. Not going to be any uh, COVID-19 games no, released. No Corona. No Corona games. No Corona Switch games. <laughs> corona on the go. Corona. Oh, too yeah. slow. Oh, I missed the other one. Oh. It's, you have to have really good timing because you have to see what's in f between you. No, you have to wait. No. Oh, there you go. It, give it to me. You should, your eat kids mode should be the vaccinated mode, by the way. So everything moves. Everything's a little bit oh. more, more well, this, effective. This is the kids mode. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. What? Say it again. So if you're vaccinated, oh, it, everything. everything should be a little bit easier. That's funny. Yes. So this is the vaccinated mode you're playing. <laughs> well, whatever the easy mode is. This is the easy mode. Yeah. This is not the hard <laughs> mode. That's funny. Yeah. There, there's the unvaccinated mode, which is the hard mode, <laughs> and then the single shot mode, the double shot mode, and then the the booster mode, which That's would right. be which would be the uh, Nutella mode. <laughs> Uh, if your score isn't high enough, do you lose indoor dining? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D says, Dr. Fauci presents. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So funny. Oh, I'm glad.
glad we can all laugh at this now. Uh, I'll Mike's, wait. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, I don't have any he easy hard for, more for the inner cell, cell screen, screen yet. yet. No. Oh, you won. Yay. You have to, you have to actually lose <laughs> to get to the second screen. We just lost it in Ontario, Ock. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Adam H. They just announced <laughs> today in BC that we won't lose it. We're staying exactly the same as we're doing. We're not doing terrible, but we're not Ontario. So <laughs> they're not doing so hot okay. there. My turn to play. All right. To get a CDC seal of approval. Oh, gosh. That's so funny. CDC seal of approval. You only need to shoot the viruses once in the Johnson & Johnson mount. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, so much fun. Just three weeks. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> just three weeks. <laughs> ah. Ah. There we go. I actually want to play the next part, so I yeah, have to, I have to, have let, to let them it, attach. I let the first three attach so your score doesn't go down too much. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, this is a, an amazing game. It's amazing. It's and, so involved. Yeah. And I like the new inner cell mode yes. <laughs> of it. Yeah. That's really, really great. So when does it decide to attach? It just kind of goes for a bit and... Yeah. Or maybe it takes its time. See, the other one's standing up there and waiting. So what are you shooting at? The viruses? Is oh. that... Are those antibodies? There's some line count issues, but... That's that's for the second mode. Yeah, but the first mode? Um, you have to switch to um, the browser. Is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, almost to that. Can I pre-order the expansion variants? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's DLC every time a new variant comes out. <laughs> okay, we're going into the cell. Oh yeah, there there is flicker when it goes back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I can destroy that because my energy is high enough. Is that? There we go. Oh, that one's moving fast. Go 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 go! Damn it! It's gonna make more viruses. It's making it. Look at it make it. I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, it, like, it makes builds it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you not paying attention? Well, I was reading. It, most the of the, the time. RNA. Uh... It got one out. Get it. Get that energy. No. RNA ends up in the cell and it builds a virus and then your your cell spits out the virus. So need some vitamins. Oh, I got two and one. Bonus points. Oh no. It's two down there. Now they're both making them. No. Oh, they're moving slow. I wonder if I have enough energy to take it out. Nope. This goes right through it. I like how it bounces back and forth. Okay, I get that energy. Oh, great Omicron, yeah. Nope, I didn't get the energy. I have to Mike bounce it down. A few sweeps sideways That's so hard. Some color blend. Oh, that's so hard to get the energy down to where you need it. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. Yes. Do I have enough? Yep. Ah, that thing. Oh, I got one of them. Got a spike protein? Nice. I love how they build viruses. It's so cool. Oh. Can I get it? Uh, nope. Need more vitamins or energy. I need more energy. Where's the energy sh shown? E. Is it's the, the yellow E, which is a little hard to see. Yeah. Oh. Uh, At the top, is it the 49 know. or is it 28? It's not the yellow dots oh, at the bottom, is it? Oh, no. My vitamins. Get your vitamins. Eat your vitamins. Oh, person. I think it's at the bottom. You get the vitamins at the bottom. Oh, the dots? Mm. Yeah, I gave you another dot. Mm. Mm, I have mass. to get the E to, to just... Bounce. Oh. oh! Back out. There are rectangles at the bottom, yeah. Oh, okay. Left side shows Vs. Right side show, shows Es. Gotcha. I'm going to go back in. <laughs> If I don't die, I'm, I'm at 28 health, so. There's line counts issues on this screen, especially, yeah. Oh God, flatlining, no! I'm gonna try it again. 
and just let them go down to the bottom. Nice. Yeah. Some colors blend and make it difficult to see what going it's going on. Uh, yeah. The yellow and the white are the yellow is a uh, the E and the V is a little hard to see. I think on the white background, yeah. but. Uh, so some some color adjustments might be needed. Yeah. Like you could make instead of yellow just make the background black all the time mm. you like the yellow i like I the mean, color because the color changes level to level because he's representing different yeah. parts of the body so yeah, yeah I, I understand that. yeah i don't that mind sense. that i think it's just yeah some of it is a little hard what's the odds of a release cart wise for this Ooh. i would say very high I hope it's high i'm excited because it's it's a really complex cool. interesting cool. game with it a is. really good concept Uh, I need to adjust the colors. Your machines looks very different than my Stella Dev mm. environment. Everybody's looks different. That's true. Hello back to Sri Lanka, Code, pra Code Prasa. Mm -hmm. Welcome. First time talker. <laughs> oh, watch that cat. I know. He's back cat. Glad you're enjoying the show. As we fight off viruses <laughs> from the inner workings of the body. Cat. It is a cat. It's a cat butt. Censor yourself. Yeah, I know. Censor that no cat butt. No one needs butt. to see that. What's he it's looking a cat. at? It's I don't know. What are you looking at? Is he looking at the cable? I don't know. He likes cables. Sit. Calm down. He's very excited. He is. Lately. Why are you so excited? Calm. So there's a lot of big Calm, things fluffy. around. We have the vacuum upstairs, which he doesn't oh, like. Oh, he does not like the vacuum. He took the tree down, and it's in the hallway, which he doesn't like. He doesn't like big things. Okay. No must stop he's very agitated today those guys from getting to the bottom that's like your number one goal at first off right because then they can't implant yeah but the last time i played last round there was oh, one that, get... that just goes nuts like that and you can't oh Ooh. my god it reduces your health when you get them oh Need vitamins? yeah your health is going down every time you hit the rna Need vitamins maybe you shouldn't be eating it oh i got kicked out yeah Oh, should I not be I don't eating know. it? It drops your heart, your health down really fast. I really do love Atari 2600 mm. games. Never played on real hardware. There's lots of emulators that you don't need real hardware. That's true. If you if you can't find a 2600 and for Stella a good price, Stella is always good. But oh, it's that line. Yeah. <laughs> um, but having the real hardware is super cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn to play. My. Mike Sol says I have some cool box art ideas. Well, oh, the yeah. big the big virus on the front is is would be a very cool no. idea. Oh, you have to let them get to the bottom. If you play perfectly, you never get to the second screen. That's the funny thing, right? Yeah, I almost feel like. Uh... I guess on hard you would get to the second screen a lot easier, or eventually you would playing level after level. But you played a, a game and you died, or you won actually. I want that screen to come up um like in between cycling through levels right it's really fun to play like you like kind of want to every second it. level is that screen well you go of. through all the tissue types and then right. i don't know like it's so yes neat. i need to figure out some better ways to balance the gameplay it's it's well, cool. just, to, just to get to the other screen yeah i i do so want to play that screen so you don't avoid it, it. it yeah and that those are uh the best games where you go you have a change of scenery every yeah. once in a while there's a bonus level that comes up once in a while so you have to have to find a way to have that screen and this screen go back and forth at at a at certain intervals because if your body is attacked by viruses it's going to you're going to have to deal with that other screen at some point right <laughs> well, with your body yeah it's it making more viruses the reality is that i think some cells will, you know, even if you have a great antibody response, probably a few cells will get infected along the way. So it's pretty rare, I would think, that you get infected and none of your cells are affected. It'd be a pretty yeah. good immune response. It'd be amazing. That's what happened. Yeah. You want you want your body to get most of the virus before it infects cells. So because you're gonna win soon. <laughs> Ah, we could like put it that. on the harder mode, actually. Is there a harder mode? Yeah. It's the easy mode. It's the Nutella mode. Nutella mode. It's triple vax mode. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, is he off the screen too far? Yeah, a little bit. He's hiding. You do that, bad viruses. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Like again. Maybe it will start in the inner screen. Yeah, and then then you pass the inner screen and go to the next one. That actually right. probably would be a good because balance. This it's is creating new viruses in the inner screen, right? Yeah. So that makes sense to go to the other screen after, and then return back. <laughs> My favorite live Atari game playing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, killing off viruses. Well, we are one of the only. Uh, homebrew Twitch channels <laughs> for 2600 and 7800. Well, it's nice to see the viruses get get destroyed. Uh, uh, if you can, should I try to get to the next screen? Uh, I mean, this is hard mode. You may not. We'll see how fast it gets. True. They move pretty quick. Ah, oh, I hate it I when the antibody BBS. gets away. Um. Vitoka says, I think you need to add more contrast between the foreground and background objects. The yeah. yellow and the yellow here is is definitely a little hard to see. I mean, if it was... I don't know how many colors he has. He's quite a few colors. Ah, I'm doing terrible. I mean, you, you have a quite a selection on the 2600 for colors, like 128. So it's plenty, plenty to choose from. No. No. Just in time. Oh, you made it to the next level. I don't think he outlines which colors are which levels yet. Tissue type? Sorry? Which tissue type? Yeah, which tissue type is which colors. I think... Oh my god. He said them in order, but he didn't specifically say which is which. Um... I said lung, then mucous membrane, then bone, then muscle, then brain, and then artery. <laughs> I'm oh, dead. You... Oh, Flat no. line. Didn't even make it to the next screen. Nice. Oh. No, don't kill them. Just let them go. Let them go? Is this hard mode? I've, I've tried to calibrate the colors to match uh, Stella. Stella, okay. So that they look fairly close. Fairly close. It, they're never going to be perfect because I adjust one color and the other color is off. Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, what do I do? Can't do anything about that. This is so good. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> I like it so much. Yep. Yeah. But most of the colors match uh, this to Stella. NTSC. These are the lungs. I see at the top there. Is that what that is supposed to be? Oh, lungs? is it? That would make sense. It does look like a pair it of lungs. Doesn't really explain what that thing in the top right is. <laughs> what? Oh, what is the top really right? They take the heart out, don't they? Thirteen. I think I I I didn't hear a lot of your explanation because it's quite extensive. I, I don't know if it said top right. Scoring. Um, How many breaths that you live? <laughs> How many breaths you have left? Oh, but it's going up. It just counts up. You do. It does take a chunk. Yeah, you need vitamins to increase your health. So you want to get that? <gasps> no! Oh! And it goes off the screen, too. doesn't come back. doesn't bounce around. Nah. It's the score. Okay, so that's how long you live. Oh. So you've got no vitamins and no energy. Oh, now you've got one vitamin on the left. So does that mean when you get a vitamin, you have, you're able to kill one thing? Like try and get that RNA. Yes. Okay. So that did Ugh. get rid of those two dots that you built up. What are you up to? No. No. Need more energy. <laughs> you pushed it. That's so difficult because you have to push it <sighs> into off. those uh, into those pieces on the side. Sorry. 
Oh, he's, he's watching. He's, he's very interested. Oh, perfect. Get it, get it, get that E. Push. Oh, it automatically did. Oh, good. It can drift into it. You don't have to have to push it into it. Perfect. It's going to drift into it again. Nice. Get that vitamin and you're full of health. You can get those guys. Nice. Yep. Okay. It decreases one on the left every time you hit it. Nice. Okay. Ah! Spike proteins. Woo! So you can only get one of those without being, getting injured. Come on. It'll drift. It's, it's on its way. Yes. Oh, oh, shaky. It's earthquake. Don't hit it again. Whoa, that wiped out all three of your energy. Did it? Yeah. Because I guess, yeah. This is a really cool screen. Yes. You can get one right of those. Then. I need energy, though. It's going. It's going the right way. Ooh, yep, it did. Get, you can get both of those. Get them. Nice. Get it. Get it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it is a hidden game after the three attach. So you can... Yeah. Oh, you made it out. Which is good. Good thing. Where am I? Oh, oh the, the gray and the yellow the mustard don't work very well. Oh, you can't miss. No! <laughs> This is a fast one. No, we didn't get either of them. Yep. Sorry. You can watch, but don't jump up there. Don't do it. Good kitty. <laughs> is it? Oh, you got one attached, and you're almost out of health. How do you gain health? How do you gain hearts? Oh, you... Do you get rid of the viruses here? Is that how you gain the hearts? I don't know. I'm going to die very soon. I think... Oh, it's every screen you pass. That's how you gain health. Poor lungs. Not last much longer. You're up to 71. Breaths. I think that's like your oxygen content or something. No, I have no health left. I don't oh. think I get any back. You have to pass this level. Oh, oh, I'm dying. Yep, one oh, more. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, really? Yeah, that's Fat line. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted to have a switching perspective where what you do in one screen can, a scan can affect things in the other scan screen nice have i done a game room tour no, no. i have not <laughs> in the four years we've been doing this i have not been uh haven't this done room it. yeah you've said, done it once you've kind of showed really, stuff around not much it's um, not a very big room <laughs> people think it's like a huge room but it's actually a very small space <laughs> yeah <laughs> everything's I've, just crammed I've, crammed on the sides in the closets i've so. done my television collection mm-hmm and I think I did my 2600 collection as well. Mm. I haven't done a 7800 one yet, I don't think. I don't know. Did or, you? But you've or, shown or everything Vectrex. in your... No, I haven't done that. Really? No. I haven't oh, shown I my haven't. console collection yet. Yeah, he's got a bunch of consoles down the side. All and over there. Bins of stuff over here. Or my tabletop. Or my Game & Watch collection, either. You've shown them off. Or my NES. You've shown some of it Some off. of it here and there. Yeah. Just bits of it. A year or more ago. Yeah, like like some of it is, has been shown. Yeah, we'll we'll do a game room tour at some point. Yeah, do it again. Uh, sounds like the ZPH room is about the same size and set up as the <laughs> ivory game. Yeah. Like, yeah. if I reach yeah. my end Toko, here... you did a small tour just after the show of my game on 2020. Yeah, oh. you did do a little tour. It, I? I don't think he showed everything, but... Oh, no. You did a little... You've There's definitely a, done a tour it's before. a lot packed into this room there's a lot of stuff in bins under the bed and Those there's are a games. lot of other stuff yeah bins games and stuff bed, yeah. yeah there's some games up here and consoles over there and... I'll get a little taste <laughs> tiny tiny taste yeah and switch back awesome game yes 
Love it. So at least show off your homebrews. Yeah, the homebrews are all up here, right? Most of them are up here. Yeah. So yeah. this is the shelves above us, and uh, that's where a bunch of like that's the homebrew stuff on the bottom shelf, the 2600 homebrew. You might want to tip it down a bit because oh no, you can see uh -huh. it. Sorry, I thought it was a little high. So all this, all this stuff. Yeah. This shelf is all 2600, 7800 homebrew. And loose carts without boxes yeah. for homebrew. Uh, this is all Vectrex stuff up here. This is all NES stuff. This is uh, Vectrex homebrew. Yeah. Uh, that in the top middle-ish is all Genesis games. Uh, SNES in the top right. It's not all of it either. Like It's just selected stuff, uh, right? No, those are full. Those are full. Okay. Collections of it. Um, these are all the books, programming books and artwork books for games. Um, all the rest of it is in other places. Yeah, not easy to show from the camera. <laughs> no, almost impossible. We'll have to put a webcam on a extender. Or use the USB cat cam extender. or something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. Like all my Turbo Graphics. Yes, Arena Foot. All your books are there. Have you got Racing the Bean? Yes, you do. You do have. Oh yeah, it's a good, the Bean. good book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in the other room though. I don't know if it's up here. Mm, or did no, you it read it already? Here. Yeah, I read that one. That's a good one. Uh, Turbo Graphics, um, Famicom, Super Famicom, mm. uh, just all the like. What else? Uh, Fairchild. It's in a big closet in the in the closet. Yeah. Um, so all the rest of the games are in there. So there's a lot, actually, a lot more games than this yeah, in yeah. there. If Famicom Disk System stuff is in there, mm. uh, I don't know. Lots, lots of stuff. Mm. <laughs> so I'll do a tour of all that stuff. Yeah. It's 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 just not a huge room, so things have to be kind of put away. But, uh, on you know. James' top shelf, yeah. Uh, PC box games. I don't have any. Well, we have like two. Oh, yeah, and then the modern systems are all upstairs, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tons more of Switch games, tons of PS4 games, we... PS3 games, PS2 games, Xbox 360 games. Yeah. We don't have a PS5, so... No, we're at the end of the line. P PS4 and Switch. Switch is, yeah. That's, that's the limit. We're going to PC Steam downloaded games after this. You think so? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably probably continue on with Nintendo because they'll keep putting out physical physical media. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm done with PS4 and Xbox stuff because mm. they're just computers. They are controllers like any other controllers. Yeah. They're computers like any other computers. And yeah. all those games are released on Steam. A lot. Well, not and all of them. But they all need updating. Yeah. Right? So you're really not even getting the game when you buy the game. Yeah, that's true. And I usually hold out for like the ultimate final ultimate edition with all the stuff on it three years after it's been released so i don't have to do updates and you you get it all on there because one day the servers will go down and you'll hold a piece of plastic yeah it's that so doesn't true. work right out of the box That's so true. adam h9 9700 says i gave up once they stopped printing physical manuals oh it yeah. was nice that was a number of years manuals. ago then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. manuals are nice someone yeah. was asking what what uh, Code Prasa, uh, what programming books you mentioned you have? You don't, you have. A I few. don't have too many programming books, but I've got um, some Commodore sixty four programming books. Actually, they're not that big, so they're not the big ones. So I think I can burn down some of them. Mainly Commodore, like old ones, right? No, I've got some new ones. Oh, too. I see. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll do a book. A book tour one day. Yeah. Um, that's not a program book, but it's Once Upon Atari by Harvard Scott Warshaw. Um, the original C64 user's Very manual nice. yeah. that I got when I got my C64. Spiral bound. Yeah. Tips and tricks for the Commodore 64. <laughs> Originally when I got my C64. That's yours? Yeah. Original. Um, it has a lot of basic and assembly in it. Creating arcade games on the Commodore 64. Nice. That's when I got my Commodore 64. 
A lot of type in stuff, a mix of basic and mm. assembly. Stella Programmer's Guide by Dinoid. Dinoid? Not by Dinoid, but he, he, he put out the book of it. Um, he just put out a spiral bound version of this. Oh, really? Like just a couple days ago. I don't ago. know why. The spiral bound books, man. It's way better because you can load so... them flat. This yes, you can't, they lie right? flat. Yeah, you don't. I mean. When you accidentally step on them, they hurt. That's that's my memory <laughs> well, from childhood. Don't leave them on the floor. No, you shouldn't. Um, but you don't see much spiral bound no. books anymore. Um, Andrew Davies' book. Mm, yep. Uh, well, his it's not. He didn't put this out as a book. Dianoid did, but Dianoid. it's <laughs> Andrew Davies' uh, work. It? Yeah. Okay. So this is all his nice. stuff here. And the machine language book of the Commodore 64. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it, it was not, it was, I read this over and over and over and over again, and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Yeah. Because it's not very well written after a while. Mm. And also, I did not have a good monitor program to type in these programs. Yeah. It was, I, I think they include one, but it's really basic. Yeah. Like, it's so hard to use. So I never really went far with machine language. I wish I did, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find a good book for it. Uh, but... Code Prasa, thank you for following. <laughs> and thank you for watching the show. So those yeah. are some of the books I have. Yeah. Those are the programming books. Yeah, the ones on the top shelf. There are a few yeah. others. Not but all the programming ones, but you there's have... There's so... I do have Race in the Beam. It's yeah, up, Race in the Beam is right up there. there, too. But I've got lots more books up there. Video game books. Yeah. Because you're into movies, do you collect video cassettes or laser discs? I do have one laser disc. It's... Um, Jackie Chan's Drunken oh, Master yeah. 2 um which is a fairly rare um laser disc and it's the only ultimate version of drunken master 2 that exists oh i remember you talking about that yeah because every other format you have to choose between um him they they cut a scene at the end that kind of is not <laughs> it's not great what he's doing in that scene oh really yeah um so they cut that out of a lot of the versions okay. and then there's there's a lot of subtitle problem issues so this one is the ultimate version okay i don't have a laser disc player um <laughs> yes the laser disc i do have some video cassettes that of stuff that don't exist on anything any other media yeah um i do have some dvds that don't exist on any other media yeah yeah um and i have tons of blu-rays yeah we've been getting rid of a lot of them though the ones that really don't the ones you can easily get. Yeah. And the ones I have bought again on Blu-ray. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I, I don't, I can't recommend any books at all. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not a programmer. No. Not a, not a programmer. You I, understand I do know, programming. I understand programming. I have programmed a lot in yeah. the past. I haven't had a lot of time to program. Yeah. Because you have to pick things for priorities and you have 24 hours in a day. And okay. I like doing the show yeah. a lot. So... And there's much better people programming than me, so I'd rather do the show I than make make terrible games. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll leave the good game programming up to you guys. Copress, I'm sure at and on any given stream, if you ask for recommendations for books, oh, you'll get tons of recommendations in the chat because there's a lot of programmers in the chat. Oh. So. What about those awesome homebrew twenty six hundred books that give you all the info? <laughs> little well, non homebrew. Well, bring one of those games. down. <laughs> yeah, there is a uh, yeah series of books yeah that if you want to get some in-depth information about homebrew yeah they're called the atari 2600 homebrew companion volume one go. through four and the holiday version there we go which is a nice thick one so these are made by brian mather and arena foot who's in the chat right now yeah. they're actually really really well researched yes um and have tips and tricks and screenshots and information about who made them when they were put out like everything you need to know about the game yeah really really well researched so um because brian mathern keeps the ultimate, ultimate list yeah. of 2600 games uh homebrew games and hacks and demos and other things like that so definitely check those out if you want to get up to speed on um homebrew games cat he's chewing your cords 
Look he at likes, this bad cat. He likes rubbing the cords, actually. It's well, really... he, the rubbing starts, and then the chewing comes after that, so. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Atari cat. So, if you don't have any other questions, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we will see what's coming up on the show right now. Let's see. Because there are some cool things coming up. Boom, boom, boom. Four Ataris and a kitten cam. Yes, oh, there are four there Ataris. There are four Ataris. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, so today we played Escape from the Castle. Um, next, on Friday, there's not going to be any show because I need to catch up on some awards prep. Um, the nominations are happening already. Mm. The nomination committee are pouring over the entries or all the all the games that were released. Okay. So the links is... The links was just put out today and the 7800 says nothing to do with anybody watching but <laughs> just to keep you up to speed yeah so seven people are um whittling down the 7800 games and the lynx games i'm gonna have atari 8-bit games done early tomorrow probably mm. and then 2600 games to follow the 2600 one's the big one and arena foot's helping helping with that nice. as yeah. well so that should be done soonish um and then you guys get to vote on it on the top six of those on january 21st when we do the nominee reveal and we start playing through Yay! the best best games of the year awesome awesome yep. i love it all the good games what are you doing um and then we have the homebrew hey. fourth annual atari homebrew awards presentation February 12th, we get dressed up and have a nice big green screen and multi yes. multi cams, and we get people in here helping us out. And like I said at the top of the show, Atari Age Day 2022 is coming up in March-ish, mm. around then, where we talk to a whole bunch of developers, do a whole bunch of unboxing of mm -hmm. all the new homebrew games. That's going to be a lot of fun. I love going through the new games that come out and taking a look at the manuals and the artwork on the on the cartridges it's unboxing it's the best look at him look at what he's doing he's like scaling the walls what it's is crazy. he looking for what a strange cat um yeah so those are the big things that are coming up in the next couple months march 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 yes around march early march hmm. yeah we don't know yet we don't know yet when that's going to happen i think he's itching for some more treats anybody want to Give this cat some treats Treat before we go. Is it time is yet? It, I don't know. That should be. No, I don't know. Let's see. Can I see? It's treat time. Treat yum. Time. Yay! Oh, yum, yum. It is treat time. Thank you, RC70. And we can go treat out with... that cat. Go out with some cat treats. Yes. Huh? Oh, oh, my goodness. He's so good at it. He is so good. Okay. Thank you, RC70. Yep. Oh, what are the new categories this year? Yes. Yes. You can announce those while I'm feeding... The very, very bad. I gotta go off screen for that. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't done any um, public announcements oh. really of it too much. No. Um, where is my all my? This is annoying. One second. So we have. So this year we have twenty six hundred. This looks really weird. Am I logged out? I think I'm just too. There we go. There you go kitty. So we have 2600, 5200, 7800, 8-bit, and the new console is the Atari Lynx, which okay. is the handheld system for the Atari. Um, you guys can't see what I'm clicking on on purpose. <laughs> the kitty so. is going. <laughs> oh, kitty go. So the categories this year. So good with that, pal. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I think there's 19 categories. Woof. So for 2600, it breaks down into... He's very effective. Completed and works in progress. So for the completed, there are originals and ports. And there's also originals and ports that are under 4K. So we okay. separate those out. And then in general, we have um, awards for graphics, music and sound, and works in progress, both for original and ports. Okay. Um, and for the 7800, we've divided into four awards this year. Uh, completed Homebrews Original, Completed Homebrew Ports, 
Uh, and then work in progress originals and works in progress ports because 7800 has taken off this year. There's been tons. Yes, and yeah. it's going to be even bigger next year because uh, there's so many works in progress. <laughs> uh, we have the Atari 8-bit 5200 homebrews completed. No works in progress for that because they usually just go straight to completed. Um, and same with Lynx. We have Lynx com completed homebrews. They don't have very many works in progress. It usually goes straight to completed. But we like to introduce things slowly. Yeah. So it's just completed this year just for Lynx. Just this year for completed. Okay, uh, for Lynx, yeah. And then we have Best Atari Homebrew Packaging, which all of them are now part of. Okay, so, so it's, it's any one for any of them. Any. So 2600 and 7800 and 5200 and 8-bit and Lynx all compete together because it has nothing to do with the game. Yeah. It's all about how cool the packaging is, very the artwork cool. on the packaging, goodies in it, just everything like that. That's very cool. Um, and we also have a Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. Which, uh, let me just go to, because I know who won those last time. So this would be the third year we're giving it out, even though it's the first. We didn't have that in the first year. Mm. But in the second year, we had Albert Yeruso won it. Mm -hmm. And the third year, uh, Stephen Anthony won it, Stephen A., mm -hmm. who's the maintainer of Stella. Oh, yes. So yes, yes, yes. I remember both that. Both of yeah. them well-deserved. Yeah. Um, but we're also adding another category this year, which is not a category, but a, uh, a portion, a portion of the show okay. it's going to be an in memoriam okay portion of the show because for the people that we lost in the last year in the last little while yeah i guess because you haven't done is, it before yeah we've never done it before so this is the first year we're doing it so have it's stretching back catching up to three you. or four years okay fair yeah. enough fair enough yeah. so we'll have we'll have that um section of the show nice yeah and uh yeah we'll be talking with all the developers um that who won that's always fun yeah and probably talk with Al again. Yep. And uh, some other people may come in as a surprise. That'll be fun. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So uh, looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So that is the end of the show today. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Yay. So many people watching today. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, thank you, Analog1975, Rendered Ghost, Vitoko, Code Prasa, Adam H9700, Arena Foot, Marco Johannes. Mike Soul, thank you for your awesome game. Very cool. I really like that game yep. a lot. Yeah. Uh, Dan ABC, Phaser Cat Games, Carl G. Um, who else? Old Style dropped in. Didn't even see your name. Go by. It's <laughs> playing a lot. Too much Reading talking. stuff Too out. Too much talking. Ivory Tower Collections, Cafe Man 2D. Um. Who else? Who else? A cardboard box. Um, I think I ran out of names. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to thank all the people who uh, let us play their games. Mm -hmm. um, Eduardo Valarino for Escape from the Castle. Very cool. Which was a super cool game. Yeah. Uh, especially for the first timer. I know. The first Atari 2600 I like those games game. that are challenging, but they're like little puzzles and it's things. It's cute. It's puzzly. Yeah. It's got multiple screens. It's got that cool, I'm going to press something and it changes something on another yeah, screen. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's got keys. It's got some challenge to the action. You have to avoid things. Um, oh, you forgot to Atari 2600, dude. Oh, Sorry. Sorry. You you I'm flew by. by. He's scrolling Atari fast. 2600, dude. Special shout out to yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Um, if you haven't talked in a while, no, you were no, there. No, he was okay. there. Yeah. I just missed you. Um, Pinfinger, very unique concept. I, as per usual by Kev Kelly. Uh, and terrifying. Stab the hand without yeah. stabbing your hand. <laughs> it's a really interesting concept. He always comes yeah. up with these very off the wall things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's got some challenge, actually goes to a challenging level. Like the fast level is really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And I like the two player where you can pick which finger you have to avoid or which which part you have to put it in yep um and immunity immunity by uh mike mike losh mm. did i say that right i think i messed it up um anyway by soul <laughs> in the chat um really unique concept 
really cool implementation. Mike says that's right. Mike Sol. Yeah. Yep. Mike Lush. A uh, Mike Lush. Um, really unique concept. I love the dual screen. All the things that you have to maintain and keep track of, and you can't do one thing without the other thing, and you have to make sure you don't three don't get. But to the I bottom. also like that it's an accurate, a reasonably accurate representation of like what happens like in a viral immunology. Yeah, <laughs> like like it it even and the the viruses look great, and just even the little RNA strands that go and implant and then replicate viruses. It's just great. It's really great. Got to thank your. Ca- Katatari and all of us. Thank you, James and Tang. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, yeah, so great games today. Thank you to all the uh, developers mm-hmm. who make these awesome games. Without them, the show is nothing. We'd just be sitting here with a cat, which is pretty cute. Which is still, which is nice cat. too. He's being really cute right now. Yeah, he's leaning up against the tripod of the camera. Yeah. He's hi. just, hi, he's like, I'm full of treats now, it's sleep time. <laughs> he's all puffed up. He's, yeah, just full like, he's about to fall asleep. So, um, he, looks, so he looks treat drunk right now. I'd tune him to watch you ring the bell. <laughs> he's pretty good And he'd be happy bell. that you would ring the bell for him. He would do that for hours. Oh. He'd be lying in his side going, yeah, uh, uh, ding, 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 nom, nom, nom. <laughs> just put it in my mouth. Wouldn't you? Looking at us like we're crazy. Yeah. So we'll be back not on Friday, taking a not day off. Not this Friday. Yeah. Okay. Because I have I have to do a lot of arranging for the Homebrew Awards. I have to make a ton of graphics. Okay. I have to make graphics for when the nominees are announced. Okay. And start working on the graphics for the show. Mm-hmm. And a bunch of other stuff. And promotional graphics, things like that. So we will be here on Friday, um, but we'll be back next Tuesday. Yeah. Probably with some 8-bit games, because there's been a bunch that have been released that I haven't played. Nice. Like, there's a... Um, uh, oh, my God. I've forgotten the name of it. Activision game. You're jumping on ice flows. Oh, I know which one you mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Really good port of it. I ate but port, yeah. Yeah. Anybody? Bueller? No? <laughs> okay. Um, that game. Yeah. Um, I know which one you mean. Uh no, no. Speak of 8-bit, I placed my order for a physical copy of The Last Squadron. It is shipped. Yay. It is an awesome game. I have it right up there. It's probably the only, one of the only 8-bit games I actually own. Like like in on hard, cartridge. On hard yeah. cartridge form. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yep. It's that good. It's really, really good. Frostbite. Yeah. Frostbite. So it is an amazing 8-bit version of Frostbite that somebody ported. Nice. Uh, they seem to be on a streak of like, I'm going to port all the Activision games to the 8-bit system because it never came out. Mm. I also phoned Flob and Petsky, Petsky Robots, Robots, both also yeah. very worthwhile. Oh, Flob yeah. is a huge game. Yeah. Lots of gameplay on that. We we made it a little bit into it, not very <laughs> far. Um, and Petsky Robots, tons of levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next live is Tuesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. At what time? Uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. So same time that it started today. Yeah. Subtract two hours from right now. And that's when it starts in your time zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So next Tuesday. Um, so that's it. So we'll see you next Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Thanks for hanging out with us. Mm-hmm. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night, everyone.